everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a fun pink daisy inspired design on this glass wine bottle. I am going to be using two flat brushes once again, a number 12 and a number 10. These are all folk art, or not folk art, but plaid one stroke brushes and then a quarter inch scruffy brush. Sorry, I have paint on my hand. Alright, paints I'm using Thicket, Happy Green, Berry Wine, Moon Yellow, Wicker White, Magenta, and Burnt Umber. Alright, I've gone ahead and cleaned off the, the uh, sticker that was our label that was on this very hard to get off this bottle for some reason. Anyhow, what I'm going to be doing though, in a little bit of a different technique, and you can see I've been playing around, I've been doing my designs, I'm going to load the brush with my wicker white, and then I'm going to just stick the tip of it in, and go ahead and do my design. So it's a little bit different than actually double loading, like your regular double loading like for one stroke type things. And then when I go to reload, if I'm going to put more white into it, I just kind of scrape off the brush a little bit to get the some of the pink off the magenta and then go back over it. If I want to reload some of the magenta, I just do it. And you're just on the chisel edge, dipping it in, and then you're just pulling. And you're on the side. You're not doing it flat. You're on the side. So you're pulling it in like this, pulling it in like that, and pulling it in like that. Again, if once you look at it, if you think, oh, I need some more pink, or I need some more white, I need to be more opaque. Just go back in and tap on it. Scrape off the paint and then start again. I'm only going to do a few blooms on this one because in my sample picture I did, I think I did five. I'm just going to do a few here because I want to, I don't want it to be too big. Bottle's not as big as my paper my paper surface. It's just kind of another way to download, or not download, but load your paint onto your brush. And like I said, I have a heck of a time with the, getting this label off this bottle. I'm running into some of it from the back side now. Just, I don't know. I mean, I've soaked it. I've scrubbed it. I don't know what the deal is with it not very nice to work with. I guess they really didn't want the label to come off. Now this one doesn't have much in the way of pink or magenta. When I say pink I'm referring to the magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and add some on my brush. Stroke back over it. And again I can scrape the paint off. Load my brush with the paint. You're going to have some pink in when you do this because you're not cleaning the brush out, but that's fine. All right. Now, you could do this one of two ways. You could actually have tapped in the centers first. On this, I am going to tap them in now. And I'm using the Squall Bust Yellow and the Burnt Umber to begin with. And I'm just tapping in the centers. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Come down and around and tap. 
You can make it bigger if you want. I'm not really trying to make it huge. Like that. And then you can even add some light in it if you if you wish. I'm just tapping in some yellow and some brown. And then around and you can actually add some white in here if you wish. I'm just gonna probably leave it like it is. And this might be a little bit bigger when the space is a little bit bigger here. I mean if you ever feel like your paint's getting too muddled, you can definitely clean out your brush or grab another brush if you have the same brush. Sometimes I like to have some texture too. That's kind of fun. Tap, maybe tap some back on there. Alright, there you go with those. And then for the purpose of this video, I am, because this is a taller piece that I'm painting on, I am going to put my stems coming down into the bottom of the of the, uh, the bottle. And then I think on this one I'm just going to swing it around. I like them to uh, across each other, but you don't have to have them do that. If you feel like that's just too much, or you want your stems to come down straight, hey, more power to you. Do what you need. Do what makes you happy. Alright, so then on the leaves that I'm painting, you can vary your leaves, but I haven't been doing this type of leaf for, for a bit here, so I'm going to go over it. Got a lot of paint on there. Get a little bit of that off. Oops. And then go like this. And then pull it down here. You can vary the colors. You can, you know, have light on the outside. Dark on the outside, light on one side, dark on the other side. There's just so many variations, and I think part of this is not sticking very well because of the because of the sticky stuff on this bottle. And if you want, because really with daisies they have more of a thin petal. You can stick with that if you want, but here's what I mean is I can go here and do now with the lighter on the outside. I'm going to go over this again. For some reason it keeps separating there, I'm not sure why. But for the purpose of the video, that's fine. If I were going to be painting this bottle for myself or to give it away, I would paint all the way around the bottle, adding lights to them, maybe even putting a candle in the top is awesome. And see, this is a different kind of leaf, too. It's the same leaf, but it's a different kind of loading style because I'm doing the... Oh, no, this is... I didn't do it right. It's the same kind of loading style. Ignore me. And I'm going to turn this. And just pull down here. Now, if you don't want to get too many of those big ones, then you want to do some fillers. You can just come through here, add some, 
grab some pink out of there. You got to remember, if you're doing wet on wet, you are possibly going to be pulling some color from underneath. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. If you're not, then that's fine too. Always give it some dry time if you want to make sure, if you want to fuss with it more, as far as blending and shading and all that, you can give it some drying time so you can do that. I'm just going to put a little bit up here and then I'm going to be done. don't want to have too much going on up here. You can do this in twos, threes, however many. I like odd numbers, so that's what I typically do when I'm doing painting. But here you go. Very pretty. Very easy, very pretty. And what a great gift. Throw some lights in this, and boy, the ambiance would be just stunning. Great nightlight, too. Great nightlight. All right. If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. And then at the end of the video, you'll see a subscribe button, or I'm sorry, a share button at the end of the video. Please make sure you hit on that. Show it, share it in your social networks uh, to your family and friends. I would definitely appreciate it. Thanks again, and until the next time, you have a good one.